Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with CF Ninja Hacks. And today I was helping out Christina with a membership site that she has. And I just wanted to go through some of the features that we put into her membership site, give you kind of an idea of some of the things that are possible. We didn't really change the look and feel that much of it as much as we changed the functionality. What she wanted was to be able to... Well, what she does, let's put it that way first, is she does um, exercise and health for people. So she's in the um, health and fitness industry. And what she wanted to do was to be able to set it up so that her members could get a weekly grocery plan, a weekly recipe plan, and then also a weekly workout plan. But... As you know, with ClickFunnels, normally, if you put it in, you have to set the drip delays like she has up here at the top for some workout programs she has. But we didn't want that. What we wanted to do was to, on week one, give somebody their grocery list and also their recipes to go for the week. Every single day, we get their own recipes. And then also a workout plan for each week. But then on week two... What would happen is the recipes, the grocery list, and the workout for week one would disappear completely, and all you would see would be week two. Again, week three, number two would go away, and only week three would appear. So I'll show you how that works in a minute. And one of the things I want to let everybody know is it's pretty easy for somebody to hack into a ClickFunnels membership site. So you always want to make sure you set your restrictions for anything that you don't want ripped off because somebody could easily give somebody else your secret sign-up URL. But if you set the restrictions inside of your membership site, it works out really good, protects the content really well. And you'll see here in this case, um, the content doesn't even appear at all on the screen if it has been restricted. Now they do have a beta update they're working on for their Wasabi program where it will show it as an OTO, but we don't have that installed on the site here yet. So right now we went in um, to everything basically below this line right here and we restricted it to members who had purchased certain products. So when you have that, this is what the site looks like on desktop. Um, again, like I said, we didn't really mess with how it looked too much yet. And she only has the two sections open. And you saw as I clicked on that, it scrolled up nicely so the content is right in the middle of the screen. And the same here, this content's a little bit longer so it scrolled up a little bit further. And let me show you what happens uh, when I reload the page. I put in a little loading icon because especially when you have a lot of content, which you will see when we go to the full-blown page, uh, it takes quite a bit of time to load and with me recording right now with Camtasia it's even going to take longer to load so be patient with it but again so it loaded real quick and then um, up pops the first lesson and again once you click on a lesson then what it does is it will just scroll you back up to the top of the content area which works out really nice. Now here's the other thing I did for her is I changed up how the sites work on mobile most of the time. What you're normally going to get is you're going to get this left sidebar automatically popping in on top of your content and then you have a long ways that you have to scroll down in order to see the content. What I did is I, I switched things up so that the content is on the top and the lessons are on the bottom. And then when you click on a lesson, again, it will just scroll you right back up so all the content is right in view on your page. So let's go into the tracking code. How, how this tracking code works is it's, it's really quite simple. It just goes in, it grabs out those lessons, and it only serves them up one at a time, all starting on a specific date. So recently she got some of her first members in, so we had to turn it on, and we set the date for January 20th. But let me just show you here. Well, let me, let's just start off with January 20th for now, and let me show you what it looks like when we go into the site and you see the the full blown content so i have to log out and then i'll log back in real quick under another account that has the proper purchases 
so that I can see all of the content. And like I said, this is going to take a little bit to, to load up. So now we have the page loaded and we will scroll down to where our content is and you will see here that I have my grocery list for the week of January 20th, my recipes, and my workout plan. We can open that up, see what our grocery list is for this week and what our um, what I have for breakfast, uh, breakfast egg McMuffin I get uh, today. And then, of course, the workout I have to do as well. Bringing sexy back workout. Okay, that's what I need, definitely. So, um, again, let's take a look at how this looks on mobile. We shrink it down, and we see how the content goes to the top. And we can scroll and scroll and scroll. She's got a lot of content in here. And we'll get down, and then let's say we want to um, just do one of these ab workouts. We click on that, scrolls us right back up to the top, so the content is always on the top on your mobile phone, so you don't have to be scrolling around to try to find it. But of course, you do have to scroll down to lessons, and you can, of course, always toggle your lessons on and off. Now, let's say we want to change to the next week, well, because I'm going to have to do this manually because obviously as time goes by, as we get into the second week, it'll show the second week, so i got to default it to having been the second week. So let's just do that. We'll save it. We will reload. And as it loads up, you'll see it will stay on the week of January 20th because it is the week of January 20th, but if we go into our grocery list, you will see that the items have changed. And let's see here, the first, uh, yeah, quinoa porridge. The other one was, um, oh, what was it, uh, English muffins or something. And then let's see here, we got sexy back and triceps, which I forget the other one was sexy something else. And so there you go, that's how it works. So as time goes on, it just automatically will rotate now. Now the way we're setting this up initially is she wants to do, I think, 15 weeks of each, the grocery, the recipe, and the workouts. And at the end of that 15 weeks, if she doesn't put in any more content, it'll just rotate back around to week number one and just go through it again. So it's an easy way to set up a workout program, a recipe program for somebody, put in a couple months worth of content and just basically let it run forever if that's the way you want to set up your membership site. So if you got any questions on this or anything else about my CF Ninja Hacks program, just give me a holler.